So I was the fourth person in the world to actually get the stimulator. And what they've done is surgically implanted a stimulator on the lower part of my spinal cord. And from there, there's a wire that comes to my stomach, and that's where my brain box is at. And I have a remote where I can hold it up to my stomach. And I have different uh, frequencies, different codes where I can turn it on. One will allow me to move my legs, my toes, my ankles. The other one will, I have one where I can turn on my core. And I have another one which actually allows me to stand up. And so when it's stimulating the spinal cord, at a certain frequency, I can kind of tap into it and connect with it. So that's how I can, on command, I can move my legs, I can move my toes. And what it's doing is that'll increase your blood flow, your circulation. When I'm standing, it, it uh, helps your bone density. So it's just a way to improve your overall health. I had to fit the right protocol. So at that time, they were looking for a T5 AGA complete. I couldn't be injured for more than two years, and I had to be injured for more than one. I had to have strong spasticity, which I do. I had to get off my medication, and I had to move to Louisville for two years and dedicate myself basically to research, which is, you know, it's, it's a big deal. You know, when I, when I do things and I, I talk about the epidural stimulator, I usually stand up and show them. Because to me, I feel like that scene is believing. People can watch me stand up and like, oh my gosh, this is real. But what they don't know is all the secondary functions that I struggle with, how it's improved that. Getting the improvements in, like in bowel, bladder, sexual function. Um, I've had the ability to sweat and I didn't have it. I mean, I had a little bit before, but I've noticed since the stimulator that it's something that I really don't worry about. It was going out in the hot heat and you know my body can actually get rid of the heat and I, I don't have autonomic dysreflexia like I would have. You know, of course, we all want to walk again. That's a no brainer, but you know, it's gonna take, it's gonna take time, but it's gonna take also the small steps. And the first step is to figure out how to keep yourself healthy. I can move my legs, my toes, my ankles, I can stand up, but I was also down in the research lab for two and a half years. So no matter what happens, if you get this, if you get the stimulator, if you want the stimulator, it's not like you get it and it's a plug and play. That's when the work begins. You're gonna have to go to therapy. You're gonna have to put in the time. I just hope that people have the right mindset on what the epidural stimulator is and not the expectations, you know, because it, it is what you make it. And it's also, once again, if someone does get the epidural stimulator, that's when work begins.